Well, it looks like winter is actually here. This is Halloween morning, and it's looking more like uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas than it is Halloween at this point. We've got about 10 inches of snow last night. No power in the shop, but I'm gonna try and do some forging. Just one advantage to the atmospheric style gas forge, I can still work without power. But it's so dark in here, I probably won't be doing anything very precise or very delicate. Of course, no power means I can't use the new power hammer. That's too bad. But I did put some plastic up on the wall before it snowed, so at least there's no water coming in the back hole of the shop there. I'm actually using magnets to hold the plastic to the tin siding of the shop. That seems to be working okay as long as the wind doesn't blow too hard. And of course, with the power out, I guess I'm glad that my video lights are actually battery operated. So you might actually be able to see a little bit of my face here. I keep thinking I might like hardwired lights, but this is a good reason to keep the battery operated lights around. I might actually use these over at the uh, anvil a little bit this morning so I can see what I'm working on better. But snow and power outages are not really the reason I'm doing a video today. Really the main reason for this quick and simple video is just to let you know that I haven't forgotten about you. I've been doing a lot of work under the new hammer, catching up on some of the back orders, and it is really making a difference. I feel like I'm back in full production mode and it's been quite a while since I felt that way. So I'm trying to get a few things caught up. You may have also noticed that I haven't been responding to comments on the latest video, and that's because unfortunately I have no internet access which means that it may be a day or two before I actually get this video uploaded because I have no way to upload this video. We're putting in that new water system that I talked about in a previous video with the three 1700 gallon tanks so that we can store rainwater since we don't have a municipal water source on our property here. And unfortunately, we cut the phone line. It was inevitable. The phone line ran right where the tanks needed to go, so it was gonna have to be rerouted no matter what. But for the time being, we don't have a phone, and that means no internet. And even once the phone's back up and running, we took that opportunity to have our modem reprogrammed to a different router on the phone company system that should give us slightly better service. Probably not a lot better. The video uploads will still be really slow, but we should have some small improvements one way or the other. So that all means that right now, if I want to send emails or respond to social media, because our cell phone service also is horrible here. I have to go to town, and I'm not gonna to drive to town in the snow today to, to deal with answering YouTube comments. We went in last night, I got a few things done, but I'm still way behind. So I will try to get to your questions and comments as soon as I can. If you're sending things on Instagram or through email, it's gonna be a few days. So don't, don't feel like I'm slighting you or that I'm ignoring you because I will get to it. So I'm going to do just a little bit of forge work today, hope the power comes back on, and then if the contractor shows back up to work on our water system, I'll probably have to stop and help him a little bit. So that's just a little update on what's going on at Black Bear Forge as October comes to an end and starting to look forward to winter. I hope you can get out to your shop, I hope you can make something. If the power's out, you might still be able to work, but do it safely, wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you for the next one.